My fingers are feeling kind of weird this morning. My fingers, they feel kind of like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Uh, they're clean, too. Yeah, they're very clean. Hang on, let me check this finger. Yeah, no, no, I got clean fingers. They're clean. So, uh, cool in the gang, Joanna. We're not live yet. We're going to go live, but we're not live yet. Yeah, my fingers are feeling kind of weird this morning. Just a little, you know, finger action there and there and there. there. Yeah. Primo! What's going on, Primo? Oye, Primo! ¿Qué pasó, Primo? We're going to get together for a beer, Primo. ¿Qué pasó, Primo? Oye, Primo, man, you're a tough date, dude. You're a tough date. Let's go live. <clears throat> there we go. Cool in the gang. Joanna. La Joanna. ¿verdad? Anyways, good morning, Double R Radio. 7.59 in the morning, March the 8th, 2018. Man, we're um, right around the corner from the weekend, right? Huh? Finally, man, it's the one day away from the weekend. Of course, do not forget to join me tomorrow morning. Free Form Friday, where pretty much anything goes. I mean, of course, next Wednesday on my morning show, join me, D. Burleson, formerly of La France, formerly of Colturas, is going to be joining me on my morning show. That's next Wednesday morning. Make plans and be here and join me. You know what I'm talking about. You know, yesterday... When I was done doing the Uber Lyft thing, I went by H-E-B to go buy a couple of things. And don't you just hate it when you go to a grocery store and you go buy a couple of things before you know it, you spend 40, 50 bucks? You know, really, man? Uh, <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I just needed a dozen eggs, a pack of tortillas, and some Coke. And before you know it, I was getting this, I was getting that, I got this over there, I got this over there, whatever the case may be. And I spent $49. And that's with no alcohol. I already had beer here. I was like, man, I didn't plan on spending that much money, but it is what it is. Let's do some good morning shout-outs. Hold on, here we go. Good morning shout-out. Good morning to my primo. Rogelio Rivas. Good morning, primo. To my Betty Hernandez. Good morning. Sarah Duarte. Good morning, Sarah. How we doing? Sylvia Cervantes Bustos. How you doing, Sylvia? Um, Margaret Charles. Good morning, Margaret. How we doing? La Margaritaville. Minga Martinez. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Anyways, um, let's see what's going on out here in our crazy, crazy world. Which way do I want to go? Let's go this route first. Check this out. Crazy story. Alamo House. You know, uh, there's some uh, movie theaters here in San Antonio. Uh, they're called Alamo Draft House. I'm sure there's a couple others that I don't know about because I don't go to the movies no more. I should, but I don't. But anyways, some of the movie theaters now are serving beer. Okay? And, well, Alamo Draft House for the month of March is offering all school teachers free admission for the month of March. That's pretty cool. But let's get back to um, the beer serving. Here's the deal. I cannot see myself going to the movies, sitting down. And don't get me wrong, I'd love to have a couple of beers. Would you like a beer? Yeah, come on. Would you like another beer? Yeah, come on. But here's the deal. After two or three beers, I know I'm going to have to go to the restroom. And I don't want to get up and go to the restroom and go pee-pee when I pay $10 for a movie. And only because I want to drink two or three beers. I'm missing the movie, but yet I'm in the restroom. You know, I don't want to do that. Now you're probably going, well, Robert, I mean, you go to Spurs games? Yeah, well, that's a little bit different. You know, I can run over there and come right back and wait for a timeout and go over there and come back, etc. With a movie, you can't put the movie on pause like if you're at home. Like, you're at home, man, I'll two or three beers, take a shot, put the movie on pause, go upstairs, take care of my business, come back down, and do my thing. But I cannot see myself going to a movie theater, paying $7 for a beer, and getting two beers, and then having to go to the restroom while the movie's going on. I don't know, man. I see it as a waste of money. I really do. Good morning, John. I'm going to to Sylvia. I mean, should I say Cynthia Flores. Good morning. Eva L. Gomez. Good morning. Rosemary Flores. Dilly Dilly. Uh, Rob Town, Texas. Good morning. Good morning. Albert A. Amoya. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Maria Lopez. Buenos dias. Now, really, no lie, man. So I don't see myself buying a couple of beers going to the movies. I'll keep it right here at home. I really will. Now, check this out. Crazy story. Everybody knows by now that I do the Uber Lyft thing, right? I'm doing the Uber Lyft here in San Antonio. Been doing it for six months. Actually, I really like it a lot. Now, check this out. This has got to be one of the craziest stories I've ever read. Check this out. Listen up. That way you can understand where I'm going with this in case you've never done the Uber thing. Here's the way it works. You download the Uber app, okay? Then now you need a ride, okay? You get the driver to pick you up. 
He picks you up. He takes you from point A to point B. You get there, and you look at your app. Your app right away tells you, rate your driver. Right away, it wants you to rate the driver one to five stars. And it's very important for us, the drivers, to try to get as many stars as possible. Five, of course, uh, the maximum. And you want to get five stars because it helps your cause. Because if you're a five-star driver, they give you more pickups. If you're a lesser amount of stars, you don't get too many. Well, now that you know the way it works, check this out. Anyways, an Uber driver who allegedly locked his passenger in his car and demanded that she give him a five-star rating when they first arrived at her destination. How crazy is that for a driver to get you where you're going, put the car in park, lock the doors, and turn around and goes, you better give me five stars. You're going to give me five stars, right? How scary is that? I'll never forget when I had my prom date in the backseat of my car. When I was done, I told her, are you going to give me five stars? You know what she told me? I'm going to give you ten stars. Woohoo! Then she broke up with me the next day. Ching, yeah. <laughs> right. Wouldn't it be cool? Think about those ladies. I want you to think about those ladies. Wouldn't it be cool that guys had like a little plate on their forehead? I got plenty of room here. But if guys had a little plate on their forehead and it showed how many stars he was good at, you know, <laughs> taking care of business. You go, hey, man, that guy's got three stars. Nah, I don't want him. Let's get the five-star guy. Wouldn't that be cool if each and every guy had stars across his forehead, and each time that, you know, he was a pretty good guy, you know, he'd be a five-star, a four-star, a three-star, right? And you can judge from there if you want to be with that guy or not. That would be really cool. Vice versa for the guys. You know, I wish women would have little things like that where we can tell which is a one-star girl, a two-star girl. But really, in guys' eyes, guys don't care if you're a one-star girl. They still want to nail you. <laughs> That's true, man. I'm not lying to you. I said this once, and I'm going to say this again. Ladies, don't worry about shaving your legs and, you know, putting on line liner and mascara when you're going to go out. Don't worry about it. A guy's still going to want to be with you, so don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> guys are still going to want to be with you. Most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. Anyways, you're probably going, Robert, you better shut up, Robert. You better shut up. Okay, I'm going to shut up. 8.06 in the morning. Do not forget to join me Wednesday morning. Next Wednesday morning, D. Burleson of Colduras is going to be joining me on my morning show. It's going to be a lot of fun. I promise you that. Good morning, Chad. I'm going to Rose Virgil. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's keep it going. Let's go to the year 1978. Listen to something by Sanford Townsend Band. Smoke from a Distant Fire. Thursday morning. Good morning. Devil Eye Radio. You know, let me just tell you all this. <coughs> There's a lot of people out there that I pick up on the Uber lifting. All true. I pick them up. And really... I mean, they want you to go far and beyond for them. And then when, they, when they're going to get up, they'll tell you, I'm going to give you five stars. Well, thank you very much. It's tough. It really, really is. There's some tough customers out there that I've dealt with, but that's another story for another time. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me, robertrevisradio.com. Just click on the little blue button that says mobile app. Click here. Join me in my morning show. Let's get back to the morning show. Oh, Maria Lopez. Huh? What? What the hell? Oh, let's get back to the morning show.